The truth about wet head accumulators often shocks the public when it's explained in numerical format with all of the numbers. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this upload here because betting companies like Bet365 and all their affiliate promoters like the Racing Post don't want you to know about this and they certainly don't want you to see the accumulator strategy that we're gonna share at the end. So for context with this example, we're gonna use the Bet365 Sportsbook here on the screen. It could be any sportsbook, they're all the same. But this example, I'm just gonna create a three leg horse racing accumulator with three different horses from the first three races of the day. So the first one we'll pick an outsider there and um, second race we'll take uh, some sort of midfield horse and then last race we'll pick the favorite just so we've got a selection of different prices within the accumulator. Now you can see the total odds there and I'm going to put 25 pound stake on this accumulator slip and accept the price changes down the bottom there. Now for anyone who's not familiar with accumulators, all this means is a 25 pound stake is gonna be placed on the first horse. Should it win, it'll then go onto the second horse. And should that win, then the winnings also go onto the third horse, just rolling over to create the bigger outcome. Now you can see the total return for this particular accumulator is about 11 and a half thousand pounds. The odds for that treble on Bet365 is 462.12 to one in fractional odds. If you wanna change that, you can do into decimal odds under your account section on your Bet365 account. Now, there's no secret here, bookmakers, sports books, they include their margin baked into the betting odds before you even place the bet. So to give this some context and explain for the people that don't understand, there is an over round figure. When I say the over round figure, I mean the price of all of the betting odds combined in that particular betting it market. If we compare the Bet365 website with a betting exchange over on the right of the screen here, you can see the difference. So the betting exchange odds, total combined odds has an over round of 100%. So that means that for all the money that goes in, basically 100% of the money comes back out and then they charge commission on the bets that are placed afterwards. If you look at the Bet365 website, you'll see that their betting odds add up to a different figure. They actually add up to 115.6% in this particular instance, meaning that 15.6% margin goes straight into Bet365's pocket on average. Obviously, they don't know exactly what the outcome's gonna be in this race, but they do know over the longer period that margin is for them. But that's not even the problem because the truth of what's going on here with accumulators is a little bit more sinister because when you multiply the odds against each other at bad value, it actually multiplies their margin. So this is why you find social media tipsters, big affiliate companies like the, the Racing Post and various other outlets promote accumulators and promote bad value bets so often. The media is bought by the betting companies like Bet365 and others here to promote those products, which are not the best option for you guys, which is what I'm trying to highlight here. We'll show you a strategy how you can overcome this in just a second. So to see what happens here with this particular accumulator, if we compare the betting exchange prices on our accumulator slip and combine those odds, yes, you can't place an accumulator with a betting exchange, but if you combine those odds, you'll see closer to the true value of what this bet slip is actually worth. So if we just add those on there, I'll open up some separate tabs. We've got the first three races of the day, pick the same selections. You'll find that we've got comparable betting odds of 10.5, 4.5, and 20.0. So if we multiply those together here on the screen with this calculator, you'll see that the outcome is very, very different. Because with a direct comparison between the two platforms on a three-leg accumulator, you'll see that the total return at the exchange prices, which is obviously a free market, the closest we've got to true value, returns £23,600 profit in comparison to eleven and a half grand with the sports book. A massive difference of twelve grand between the two. Now, my point's reinforced even further when we had a fourth leg to this accumulator. So let's just quickly do this here. First race in Ireland, if we add on that selection there and pull up a 
online accumulator calculator here. Just to make it a little bit clearer on the screen for you, links in the description down below. Then you can see the difference in this fourfold accumulator has increased massively. So if you were to win this accumulator on Bet365, you'd win a total of £75,232 profit, bearing in mind that we're not including our £25 stake. But if you were to do that at the exchange values for the fourfold, which is close to their true price, you'd get £248,037 profit. A massive difference of over 172 grand. But we can stack the odds in our favour mathematically to ensure that we make a profit yes. from accumulators. There are two different ways to do it, as I'll share on the screen with you just now. But before I do, if I can ask, please subscribe to the channel if you're finding this video useful. So the first option means using a little bit of simple maths just to make sure that we limit and manage the downside, and in most cases, create no downside at all, whilst allowing ourselves the opportunity to win a large amount of money from the accumulator bet, which means targeting bookmakers' concessions and promotions around accumulators. So an obvious one would be ACA insurance or maybe enhanced prices or even free bets that the bookmakers are giving out for placing accumulators. Then what you do is you lay off each leg, effectively betting against your own accumulator to cancel out any risk, save yourself from losing any money, bearing in mind that you're gonna get value from that insurance or concession from the sports book to manage your downside, get your stake back, and of course, leave yourself in that winning position. It's all very simple. It's quite complicated to explain. So there's a link in the description down below to a service that helps you do that. Secondly, the other way to approach this is to identify odds that are larger than their true chance of happening. Now, it doesn't mean that you'll win every time you place a horse racing accumulator doing this, but what it does mean is mathematically, long term, you will come out on top, and this strategy is the most profitable way to be placing your horse racing accumulators. I'll show you an example now. You'll find that bookmakers' prices are always shorter than their true price of happening when it's close to the start of the event, unlike their morning prices, which are usually incorrect, which is also why the bookmakers and sports books don't like people placing bets at those time of the morning. You may find that they state restrict or limit you because that's exactly where the professionals will be targeting their pricing, knowing that they can get some value from the bets for themselves. So you should do that too, and compare that to the betting exchange. So when we're talking about horse racing here, I would advise that you look for value selections early and mid morning. We're talking about sort of from 8 a.m. through to about 10 a.m. latest to ensure that we get best prices which are not necessarily available on the exchanges but are with a sports book. So you can multiply that value in your favor, beating the closing line value on your accumulator's combined odds overall. I pulled up a quick example for you here on the screen just so you can see it clearly and visually, but basically, despite the low liquidity on the betting exchange at that time in the morning, you can see that the sports book price is significantly bigger than what is on offer here. Obviously, knowing where to look really helps when doing this. And the way to do that is to target the right situations, just like I explained in last week's upload here, where I bet on price movements on a horse race before the event had even happened to ensure that I locked in a profit.